Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 1071. My name is Christine, and on today's episode, I'm showing you the book, The Art of Mistakes. Today, I am showing you the book, The Art of Mistakes. It is by Melanie Rothschild. And there's different chapters. Um, we have Pink Frogs, an introduction. It tells a story about this young girl painting pink frogs. It's sort of interesting. Then there's an art class can be a dangerous place. Relax, the art police do not have the authority to arrest you. Reevaluate your relationship with mistakes. Good drawers equals good artist, question mark. Go play, and then the lifelong adventure of creativity. So this book has a lot of um, creative inspiration in it, like this page here. You have all this little work here, doodly type work. That's very interesting. And what I also like is for people, I actually read more this book than some of the other ones because I'm all about the pictures. But what I really like is that they, she's really highlighted some of the main points. So if you don't want to read the whole book, you can um, get it from these little bits that she wanted to highlight and bring out. So I thought that was very interesting. I'm going to just flip through a bit. Um, again, a lot of really interesting detailed work down here that can be applied to your projects. Different colors and the dots. And I really liked here all the different colored dots and lines and that. In this book, she, Melanie, isn't, didn't go to art school. And that was sort of her point out. By not going to art school, um, you're open up to be almost more creative because you haven't been told what you can and can't do. You're free to do whatever inspires you. And then, of all places, art is a spot where mistakes should be considered honored guests. So all these people who are afraid to do art journaling because they're afraid of making mistakes, it's, we're just trying to help you learn that mistakes aren't a bad thing in art. Mistakes sometimes br makes you learn new ways of creating. Now, in so after all the um, chapters there, then she gets into some techniques. So there's different lessons that she shares of how she creates art. So with masking and with thread and that. So you get a whole bunch of lessons. I'll see how many in total. There's 15 art lessons in the book as well. And I wanted to do focus on this one here where she uses masking tape um, to block off areas and to add to your art. So I'm going to do a little lesson on that. So first off, I'll show you, this is sort of my completed piece. For me, it was different. Like I'm not used to doing all these dots and that, but I thought it was really interesting. So I masked off the areas, painted with black, and then I used the enamel accents from Ranger in white. And I just started filling in dots. and. When it talks about the art of mistakes, I had originally done just a little bit sort of connecting them and then I thought it looked weird and then I filled it in. And so this whole page, well, I just kept changing and adding and working on it until I got this. And I just think it's com very interesting and uh, completely different basically than what I would normally do. So I have this card here that I've done different things on and I have a few different sizes of um, washi tape and that's what I'm going to use of course you can use any painters tape or whatever you have but because I'm using so little I'm just going to use my washi tape because I have more washi tape than I can ever get through now I like to have uh, straight lines for this so instead of tearing it I'm going to cut my tape And so I'm just going to 
place the tape where you want, where you will eventually want the color showing through. And I have different size tape here, you can see. So I'm going to place that down there. And I'm going to go with some of the thinner tape. This tape's good because there's actually a grid because I don't tend to cut straight lines. tape. We'll put a few down. So this is completely random. I have have not thought at all about what I am doing. I'm just randomly putting down this tape. So whether that's good or bad, I don't know. That's enough though for now. So then I am going to take some black gesso. So you just want to make sure that your tape is down. And I'm just going to put the gesso right on my card for now. And then just taking a sponge, I'm going to paint over the areas where we don't have the tape. So all that background design stuff is going to go away. Now it's good when you're working off the edges because it will make it easy for me to remove the tape. tape and you can see where we have our masked areas. So there we have a cool base now to a card that if I wanted to, I could go in again with the enamel accents and add white dots, or I can maybe do some colored lines on top of this because um, some acrylic paints will paint over top of the black once it dries. Um, there's many options I have to move forward. So that's just another way. This would be really great, for example, if you had a page that was, you just overdid it, it was too crazy and busy, mask off some areas, paint it black, and then just let some parts of that crazy background show through. And in the meantime, you can check out the Art of Mistakes book for more inspiration for your projects. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Spellbinder Dies 
fun-filled rings, and pierced circles. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.